five minutes for the bot to send the notification out to say that I am live. So. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Okay, well, now I know that I'm live because I just fucking <laughs> hurt myself from the VOD. Have you seen the f the, f the football? Arsenal versus Watford. It's the, the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Premier League. Arsenal. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, Sebs. How are you doing? Yeah, we're playing Minecraft. Oh, oh, yeah. I shit. I totally forgot. Um, I found a uh, a Danmaku plugin for for OBS. So look, you can see the fucking chat going across my 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 screen like that. I think that's really cool, cool and awesome. Yeah, I can I can send it to you. Um. Uh, I don't have the widget working right now, but I I have the OBS thing. Uh, I'll make it a bit. Hang on, where is it? Benz, wait, hang on, not that one, not that one, this one, there, actually, you know what, I can crop myself out, it's so the only you are here, and then, and then I make it, <laughs> there, perfect, see, modern problems require modern solutions. Um. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit, a bit much. I'll put it there. Okay. There. Okay. Um, a bit like pumpkins, not a lot like pumpkins. You know what? Not. Not Meg tastes like? Well, then I can't really explain it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, we got Goatbot. Goatbot 5000. It's my chatbot. I forgot I, I did that. Wow. No, it's uh, Stream Elements. Uh, if you got the... The stream elements plugin for OBS, you can, uh, like, if you you create a new Twitch account and you name it whatever you want, and then you can turn that account into a bot, but then you can also log into it. So like, I could log into that the Goatbot five thousand account and use it to chat if I wanted to, but it's also a bot. That's kind of cool. Anyway, we're playing RL Craft today, which um. It is a mod pack for uh, Minecraft, which is the most gamer of games. Um, Arlcraft was purposefully made by a guy who made a video about it, who got a bunch of views. Um, and the whole purpose that of, of it is to um, be irritatingly, frustratingly difficult and kill you as often and uh, painfully as possible. And uh, it's made to make you rage quit. Oh, hey, Strin Sam. First time chatter, welcome. And we'll call this Strim. Give me a seed. Tell me a word or a number or a letter or something. From Unison. Perfect.
No, 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 no. No, I don't. Th I I could. Uh, like, so the way that it works is, uh, I am probably gonna die at least a few times. Um, before like we've got something of a, like a permanent base set up. Um, oh, I might have to lower my settings a little bit while I'm streaming. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think you probably could, but it would probably impact your f performance a lot. Which one? Uh, what what uh, GPU do you have? Is it 20, 2080, 20, 6060 Ti? Um, like RTX stuff works. Uh, it's not that it doesn't work, but it it just has a a much bigger performance impact. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I was actually kind of lucky finding gravel because to do anything, you first have to get flint because you can't uh, use your hands to chop down wood. You need an axe and the easiest axe to make is a flint axe. So um, got to do that first. And I'm not getting any flint from this fucking gravel. Come on. Uh, yeah. No, that's Java. Yeah, yeah. I have done, um, uh, created uh, an RL Craft server one, one time. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not too difficult. Why am I not getting any gravel from this? Holy shit. RNGesus. Come on, just give me, come on. What is this gotcha? Server when? I don't know. I mean, I need, you know, gotta like pay for a server to host it, you know? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, okay. Now we need a hard surface. So we take some rocks, we make a cobblestone thing, and we crack the flint on the stone. And that makes flint shards. Right? You with me so far? Now we can get sticks from leaves. We can't get wood, but we can get sticks. So we get some of those. Nope. And then you can make a knife. And then you can use the knife to cut down some grass. And that can get you plant fiber. Then you can use three plant fiber to make a plant string. And use that with a stick and a flint chart to make a flint hatchet. And that's how you get wood. Now we can chop down a tree. Why is it like that? It's just to be annoying. That's... <laughs> yeah. I suppose. Oh, hey! What's up, lazy pajamas? Timber! You haven't been streaming? Or... Ah, uh. uh. yeah, I guess you haven't, huh? You've been on Ben's, Ben's stream. Yeah. How dare you not stream for one and a half weeks? That's so long. Okay. So, sometimes when you're cutting grass, uh, Spriggans will spawn. And at the beginning of the game, they will pretty much... Uh, kill you pretty easily because they can fly and they can attack you from afar and if you don't have a bow you're kind of fucked so let's leave uh, let's just do an Irish exit and say goodbye to that thing all right <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, hang on, I have to put my headphones in. Okay. Um, so, right, to get planks, uh, you can't just put a log in your crafting thingy. You have to place the logs down. That's a fucking dragon thingy. Okay, let's move away from that. Is that an actual dragon, or is that a rock? Oh yeah, that's a mob tower. Those are like uh, dungeons, like overworld dungeons, kind of. Um, that uh, they kind of work like on the first level. There's a chest. There's some basic loot there, but also I think one or two mob spawners. Um, and then the higher you climb, the more powerful the mobs are, but the better the loot is. And at the very top, there's a boss. Um, yeah. Hey, what's up, Ben? Thank you for subscribing. The bleep blomp. What? Oh my god, an official Twitch partner in my in my Twitch chat. Oh fuck. That is that's that's a fucking dragon. A small that's a baby dragon, but that's a dragon. Those are very dangerous. I'm gonna walk in this direction. Uh <laughs> Thank you. I <laughs> Yeah. I've been thinking about uh remaking that video and giving it like better graphics and maybe you know, a better voiceover, maybe expanding on a few ideas and stuff. But the I've been like um Preventing myself from doing that because I know that if I do that with one one video, then I'm gonna do it with every video, and I'm just never gonna make a new video ever again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Parrots! <gasps> How do you tame parrots again? Do you get them seeds? You want seeds? I love birds. Hello. Do you want this? Oh no! I'm not. I, my level isn't high enough. So there's this whole RPG leveling thing where to do anything, you need to have the correct level for it so you use experience to level up skills so yeah it it is cool yeah so far actually we've been pretty lucky in that i mean we've only seen dragons from afar and stuff but genuinely what hap like so usually what happens when i play arlcraft is i spawn at the bottom of the ocean and i drown I spawn on some, you know, on a plane or something, maybe next to like a near a house or like a, a village or something. And then a dragon swoops down from out of nowhere and kills me in half a second before I even have time to react or realize what it was that happened. Um, or I, you know, try to survive, but then it becomes night and then a million mobs come out and I die. Or maybe I'm near the water and there's mermaids and they use a charm on me that make me uh, lose control and walk toward them until they kill me. And that's another dragon. Or possibly the same dragon we saw earlier. A lot of dragons in this jungle. Okay, let's... Okay, let's not go that way. Not, not an airplane. Wing, not an airplane. It's a dragon. <laughs> You shouldn't spawn literally in an enemy radar. Uh, the thing you'll come to learn about RLCraft is that enemy radars are everywhere. There's always, like, look, uh, right now, for example, you see those name tags <laughs> underneath the ground? Those are, like, um, powerful enemies. And they're just kind of there. And they, they're they not killing me right now because they're in a cave somewhere. But, you know, there are enemies and dangers pretty much everywhere. Oh, and also you need to drink water, and if you don't drink pure, purified water, then it's not as good for you. Then, 
the normal water. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I never knew that. What's it called? Oh, no way. Never heard of it. Damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just a lot of Swedish people who are uh, too impatient to watch full-length YouTube videos. Oh, that's a thing. Hello. How are you? I'm just gonna... That is a plant monster thing. Uh, yeah. It's a lot like in Super Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just chilling. That's uh Jeremy. He's he's cool. <laughs> Scum. Mm. Mm, okay. Hello, Inasaru, Daisy. Um, no, I played H one Z one when that was a thing. How long will the stream? I use. I think my average stream is like three or four hours. So probably about that long. pitch black yes so if you're in the dark for too long um monsters will um will attack and kill you i just realized oh it's joe biden uh right so i just realized something that we are missing um i've made torches but um I don't have a way to light them, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you actually need to light the torches, and to do that, you need uh, matches, uh, or a match box, and to get that, you need paper, which I don't have, and you may be saying, well, just look for sugarcane, well, actually, I can't use sugarcane, because I need level 12 in farming to use sugarcane, so, the, the only way to get paper is to find birch wood, which you can actually make into paper. But I don't have any of that. So. I'm not... Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Sebs is here. Hang on. What were you cooking? Toast? <laughs> grilled cheese? Or grilled vegan cheese? Well, what did, did you put something on the toast? What did you put on the toast? Tofu. Oh, that's good. Oh, uh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Tofu is usually spongy.
Yeah. Oh, hey, Carmen. You're going to stream into Ben's time. You're going to make me choose between the two of you. Yes, Carmen. Now's the time to choose your favorite child. Just remember, you did adopt me. So you have to decide whether I'm your favorite or Ben's your favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, you have to watch your temperature. Um, I have to make like a plan for how we're going to be finding paper. Oh, that's uh, an eldritch monstrosity. So I think I'm good. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's friendly. You think you'll do a podcast with these guys? With the... Uh, yeah, I had a podcast. It's uh, on my YouTube. Yeah, I know. You've never watched any of my videos. Mm, yeah, sure, technically. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, um, I did it with uh, a Danish friend of mine named Peter, but you know, you know how, how Danish people are, so it just, uh, yeah, no, you're right. We could probably just like do another episode and just, you know, not mention it and people will just assume that you're the same Danish guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I d it's not like I know two Danish people. <laughs> yeah, Peter's accent changed. He moved to a different part of Denmark. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's how it is. Uh, yeah, it's my VODs channel. I also make vlogs about my daily life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know, probably stuff like, um, how do I look more handsome? Um, how do I be a good person? How do I uh, become more smart than Grom? Yeah, I don't know. You'll probably have to ask a shirt. <laughs> uh, all right. So this the there are also some uh, cool new weapons in this mod pack. So with a string and a stick, you can make a handle which is what you make most of the new weapons with. And if you make a sword like this, the two on top and the one to the side, you make a saber, which is one of the many variants of swords that you can make. Um, um, this one does 25% uh, of damage taken, dealt in durability. Right, yeah, so when you take, so if I'm holding this in my hand and I'm taking damage, 25% of that will be transferred to the durability of the weapon. So the weapon will damage faster, but I will take less damage myself when I'm holding it. 
And then it also does 100% base damage weapon uh, against weapons that don't have chest armor. So, yeah, uh, twice the damage against enemies with no chest armor, which is a lot of enemies. Um, and then otherwise, than, other than that, it's just 1.6 attack speed and 5 attack damage. And then you have a bunch of other swords. Hang on, if I just search for the handle and right-click it, you can see you got war hammers, you got throwing knives, throwing axes, it's a saber, and then you got rapiers, which uh, some people also use. They're also apparently pretty good. They're two-handed, I think. Um, uh, wait, now. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, 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 shut up. There's a fucking monster outside that. Uh, then that one also has damage observation and plus 200% base weapon damage when the foe has no armor. So that one is the same, basically the same thing as the saber, but it's um, plus 200% when there's no armor at all. But if, the, you know, a skeleton is wearing, like, shoes or something, then it doesn't apply. Um, and also it's, uh, it's slower. And I th and I think it's also two handed. Hey, you can ask questions even if you don't sub. I mean, uh, no, you do. Yes, you do have to sub. Uh, it's a requirement. That's a new rule. Oh, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> <clears throat> you didn't actually have to subscribe. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, oh yeah. It has to be a tier tier three sub. Uh, sorry, I didn't mention. <laughs> it's a lot easier if everyone in the house is vegan. You can strictly shop vegan. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. My, uh, I got most of my family to not become vegetarian, but just to eat less meat and become a lot more okay with eating vegetarian stuff. So, you know, if I'm like, we're doing like family dinner or something, if my mom is in town, uh, then we can eat vegetarian stuff for like my sake. But they're also like, you know, they're also okay with it because they also eat vegetarian sometimes. Yeah. Communism is not a real ideology, rather it's a placeholder for a number of other ideologies. Um communism is like the the basic the, the, the core, I guess, of a lot of ideologies. Um it's um it, it it's the political or or philosophical belief in the abolition of class society is broadly what communism is, and there are a lot of different ideologies that utilize that core concept. Um, so you have a lot of communist ideologies, for example, like different ideologies that call themselves communist. But yeah, like you can use the the category communism to, you know, describe a, a as an umbrella term, right, to describe a large group of people. From the Latin communis, meaning in common. Oh, hey. Ooh. Jungle pod. Yeah. I want I I wanted him to keep a look at on uh, at the border control thing, just in case people from. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'll strip him of his powers after the stream. People say Marx is the father of communism. That's technically wrong. So he made Marxism not communism. That's pretty much true. Yeah. Um. There were a number of um, communist, uh, I mean, communist ideas have more or less always existed, right? And critique of hierarchy and class society. But like, for as long as there's been class society, 
there have been people criticizing class society, right? But Mark specifically, like, oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Mark specifically, uh, like in Europe at 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 the time, like uh, his predecessors, right? Um, you had a lot of what you came people who came to be called uh, utopian socialists, um, <clears throat> basically pre-Marxist socialists in uh, France and Germany mainly. And they were people who were uh, very like the the philosophies were very much tied in with the uh, enlightenment. So uh, you know uh, Rousseau and and those kinds of people and their ideas of you know the uh, what's it called that the secular Garden of Eden and the the social contract and popular sovereignty and all these things. Uh, under in France, you had a group of utopianists called the Saint Saint Simonians, named after some guy named Saint Simon. Uh, they were like pretty close to what we would call socialists today, um, although you might call them like proto socialists or utopian socialists because they, uh, yeah, it, it was it was like a very philosophical movement with uh, also some politics but not really a political ideology but that's uh, that's complicated yeah yeah <laughs> I really like that the uh, porky emote I made. Uh socialism utopian or scientific was um kind of um like a summary you might say um it came from partly uh, from a, a much larger work called anti during anti during um which was mainly written by by um uh, Friedrich Engels but uh it's related to a work by Marx uh, called The Critique of the Gotha Program. Oh, shit, the Blood Moon. Oh, fuck. Um, but yeah, yeah socialism, utopian, and scientific is... Um, Uh, so yeah, socialism, utopian, or scientific is kind of like um, just like a short thing to ex to to explain specifically, um, like the how how Marxism broke with um, the earlier socialists and and why Marx and Engels critique uh, utopian socialists from uh, a materialistic view. Uh, or a materialistic philosophy where they uh, you know they, they they basically just talk about how their they base their philosophies on on ma materialistic philosophy and uh reject philosophical idealism shut up fucking ah oh, god damn it uh yeah i'm sure it does Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, you would really enjoy this. All right, that's it. Okay. Well, oh yeah. Oh, and no, I ran away from the thing. I wasn't actually going into the dungeon. I'm gonna die here as well. Why did I die? Because it's fucking RL craft. All you do is die. That's the whole point of it. Oh. Because it's RL craft and it's made to kill you. Like, that's the whole point of the, of the mod, is to kill you. <laughs> okay, I'm, this, there's no point. There's no point. I'm just gonna, just, just kill me. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm sure there was. Yeah, it's the... Uh, I think it's the Blood Moon right now. Yeah. So there's like... Uh, it's like a bunch more enemies than usual. Yeah. What ideology, economic policy would fit America? Would you need a transitionary period before achieving the final goal? Well, there isn't really a final goal. I mean, all of history is a tr one big transition from one class society to the next. I mean, the end of history in Marxism is when there are no more class societies, but that doesn't mean that history stops or that there's nothing more that happens or that society doesn't change. That's just the end of class conflict. Um, I mean, yeah, but that like that didn't mean that history ended. Um, yeah. Um, what ideology can I possibly fit America? Uh, well, the answer is, <laughs> yeah, Yeah. Yeah, I mean it it is uh necessary for socialism to to change and to look different depending on where it is um so obviously when you're talking about america like the american continent then you have you know a, like a massive population and like an insane amount of cultural and linguistic diversity um you know spanning an entire hemisphere so no, there's not a single economic system or, or political structure that's going to fit all of those people perfectly. Um, but that's the whole point, right? Is to, to let uh, different peoples um, create their own systems and decide for themselves how they want society to be run, uh, including how the economy is run. Um, and that also means, you know, giving uh, populations control over their own natural resources and their own economies and not having, you know, indigenous land stolen by, by colonizers or uh, exploited by um, imperialists from, from the first world and the international bourgeoisie uh, in general.
Shit, I don't have any wood. Is he? Oh, hey, Ben. Oh, Seb's, Seb's disappeared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. The European colonizer arrives and pushes the indigenous boy out of the way. He takes space. Uh, I said Cuba is a good example of a true socialist country. If so, what makes it as such? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what is a true socialist country? That's a controversial question. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I thought this was all about free healthcare. <laughs> no, I no, I became a communist because uh I don't want to pay the $10 doctor's fee when I go to a, a clinic in Sweden. I was the only reason. That's the only thing I want to change. What does it mean I don't feel tired enough to sleep? That's mob rule. Ah! Oh, God. <sighs> There's a 
a bit of a delay between the the Discord and uh, watching on stream. So you can he you hear in the call when I die before I <laughs> it shows on stream. Oh well, this is pretty probably a pretty good start. This should be some birch around here, hopefully. Because glowstone is very valuable. I tried to leave enough to so the mobs wouldn't spawn. Uh, one creeper did spawn, but I survived that. But I was killed by a mob that was uh, in the water. Because there, are, there are monsters in the water in this mod. So that's how it is. Um. You only pay ten dollars, four dollars for generic communication, six dollars for brands. My deductible is twelve thousand dollars or one thousand two hundred dollars with an extra zero at the end. Um <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. Grom is overwhelmingly white. Yeah. You're so white, you oppress even yourself. I mean, that's it's not even untrue. Toxic, toxic whiteness. Uh, well, a direct democracy can be undemocratic, uh, like, it depends on what is it that you're voting on, and what are the limitations on that voting, right? Like, yeah, you can start petitions, maybe, and you can have referendums on maybe laws or even constitutions, but when you go to work every day where you spend, you know, eight hours of, of every day for your entire life... Do you have a say in how that business is run? No, you don't. Uh, and there's no voting about that. Um, so, like, a, a direct democracy is not necessarily more democratic just because there are direct, you know, referendums instead of representatives. Because the question isn't just how often do you vote or how often do you have referendums, but what is it that you're voting about? You know, I mean, you can have 100 referendums a day where all you're voting for is, you know, your favorite color. And yeah, that's a lot of referendums, and that's a lot of people voting, but that doesn't mean that it's more democratic. But, you know, that said, like, uh, direct democracy and participation in democracy, generally speaking, a very good thing. Um, it's just you have to make sure that people are participating in a democratic system that actually matters, right? That actually decides important things. And you're not just picking between, you know, the red team and the blue team. Like in the United States of America. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Uh, Avisars, they're friendly. Hello. I always intend to do bad things. What? Uh, mermaids are uh, making me horny. And I'm being pulled toward them. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'm holding on. I can hold shift and stay at the edge. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. But they do turn aggressive if I get too close. Yes, sirens, yes. Siren song. Uh. <laughs> mm. Do you mean like in the form of like deep the depoliticization of the state and the yes. Well, in the process of becoming stateless, you depoliticize the the state. Uh, <clears throat> usually, in communism, you talk about things like community consensus and things uh, instead of uh, mm. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hey, Ben. No, I don't mind if we dual stream. Mm. Mm -hmm. well yeah in i know in uh, anarchist syndicalism uh you talk a lot about um kind of the the limitations of of democracy uh, but not democracy in the sense of like making like the decisions that are made are the ones that most people go along with right like, but that is not what you mean when you say democracy, uh, specifically in, in like syndicalist circles, you talk about like the act of uh, having two positions and voting on them. And if 51% of people say one thing, then that's the one that has to be followed. Uh, whereas uh, in, in syndicalism, you often talk about consensus building where you create through deliberation a... Uh, new option 
or a, a, a synthesis, if you will, if you want to be Hegelian about it, um, that the entirety of the uh, demos, or the, the, the people that are just making a decision, can get along with without having to vote. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of um the the concept of like deliberative democracy, which is the the act of like making decisions not through through Voting. I mean, there can be voting at the end, but the main method of reaching a conclusion or making a decision is literally just through talking, having people talking about an issue uh, and making solutions develop out of that dialogue. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, synthesis. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, by telecast to go, so I wanna I wanna answer them real quick before they have to go. Um, you can send me an email. Uh, my email is on on the website socialism one one dot com. You can find my email there. So if you wanna ask me more questions, you can send me an email there. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter too if that's easier for you. Um, but it, it was nice uh nice of you to to come in. Uh, and um, uh, well have a have a nice rest of your, nice rest of your day. Thank, oh yeah, thank you for the prime sub. I have DMs off? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure I have DMs open for everyone. I'm pretty sure. On Discord, yeah, on Discord I have DMs off, but on, on Twitter I'm, my, my DMs are open. Uh, okay. Hey, Mr. Hansen. Uh, right. That's what. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that that's that was the you know the yeah the the process of uh, drafting the the Cuban Constitution was just get a bunch of people in a bunch of different neighborhoods and municipalities and communities and stuff all just kind of came together. They read through the first draft that was written by the the parliament, and they basically anyone could just be like, I don't like this part. I don't like this part. I think they should change this and that. And then all those, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there should be a capital letter here. I think there should be more emojis in the, in the Constitution, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the, all that feedback was, uh, you know, like sent back. And a bunch of the changes were implemented, and then it was sent back again for people to look at. Um, and I think it went back and forth a f at least a few times with like new drafts, like multiple new drafts were kept being sent out, and people kept looking at it and sending in new feedback. Then eventually, there was a final constitution that was sent out, and that one was accepted by uh, around 90, 90%, I think, voted in favor of it. 90, 89, I forget the exact number. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chile Chile is doing I think a pretty similar or you know some something toward that that uh in 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 that vein. Eh. Eh. Yeah. I mean, not like, uh, is that what? Yeah, I mean it, it's it's an interesting question, and I probably want to like. I haven't read like any theory about, uh, you know, like post democracy, but uh, it's it's not it's not for me. But but like, I, I've only heard it from from like other people as like the only, like I think the most commonly I hear it from syndicalists. But I also, I know a lot of syndicalists, so that's just probably, like, you know, the bias, right? But I, yeah, I, have, I haven't read a lot of, like, syndicalist theory or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Mama. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know either off the top of my head. Um. But yeah, I mean, I mean, like consensus building and deliberation. I think is is the the key to to post democracy. As, like as as far as I can understand it.
Ja. 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 Mhm. <laughs> Hello, Ben's chat. Hello. Hmm. Eh. What kind of breakfast is it? Omurice. Yeah, omurice. Omurice. It is, yeah. No. <laughs> no I would say my recommended. It's, yeah, it's an old uh, declassified instructional video from the Marines during World War II, and they were, like, teaching uh, Marines how to say, like, strip put up your hands, we're gonna take you prisoner, we're not gonna kill you, in Japanese. So that's fun. Beans are good. Beans are very nutritious and a good alternative to meat. A lot of proteins. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Unless it's a fried egg, like a fried egg over a spaghetti. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Which islands? Those ones? Hmm. They do the same thing in Iceland, but with uh, sharks.
Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, they eat rotten shark. Which is, I think, they probably the only thing that's worse than uh, rotten herring that we eat in Sweden. Yeah. For the most, I mean, first of all, it's mostly old people, and second of all, it's a tradition thing. Uh, as for um, surströmming in Sweden, it's almost exclusively for midsummer, although some people eat it at Christmas as well. I mean, have you smelled it at least? <laughs> yeah yep that's happened once here too as well i think in the eu that's like a te officially like a an act of terror yeah i mean you're not allowed to take them on uh, airplanes because they're like bombs yeah 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 I know um, you're allowed to, or, or I mean, I think the rules have changed, but like, like 10 years ago, um, my mom took and uh, was allowed to take Sustrumming, a can of Sustrumming on a domestic flight in Sweden, but not on a flight within the EU. Um, so the, the EU had special rules against Sustrumming. That Sweden didn't have. Yeah. They... Yeah. Yeah, and I mean you have to, um, yeah, like, like like clean it. Like I said, you have to remove most of the fish, right? It's just like this tiny bladder thing inside it that you eat. So uh, yeah, most of the most of the uh, you don't eat the skin, and a, a lot of the like the outer layers of the skin you don't eat. And the bones, obviously. And you're kind of left with, like, most of the fish being removed <laughs> when you're eating it. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean especially up north um you had, you know, not 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 like hard tack but like you know dried tack bread, you know like those bricks of uh like crisp bread. Um and uh you know those you know people people eat them you know today cuz it's like oh they have like i don't know stockholm syndrome or something they've decided that they like it but you know back it was invented because that was the only way to like keep bread fresh during winters just to make this crispy uh you know hardtack version of it that could be stored knäcke bread yes Uh, yeah, see, some Swedish people have developed Stockholm Syndrome, where they have gotten used to this abomination of nature that was never supposed to exist, that was only supposed to be a fucking survival meal for peasants in the 17th century. 
<laughs> no. No. Uh, not necessarily. It can be, but... Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sure fuck eating like tree bark is healthy too. No, uh, no. Yeah, and then you remove the bread, and then it's good. It's not. Uh, yeah. Actually, I think everyone is watching my stream, actually, and not yours, Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Because Germans... Why? Wait, why? Is it? Uh, we have food that comes from other other countries. Yeah, we haven't in invented norm uh, any kind of normal food, but you know. Yeah, but that's not a food. That's just a thing that grows. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, I guess. That's... Yeah, that's pretty normal, I guess. More of a condiment than a food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mostly eat it with, like, potatoes. Anything you can eat with potatoes, you can also eat with lingonberry jam. Yeah. Or gravy. <laughs> My favorite ice cream flavor, brown. Um, well, we got me. <laughs> no, it was not. Uh, no, we got me meatballs from Turkey, I think, in the 16th century. Uh, I think possibly during the Great Northern War, 1530s or something. We had a war with Russia. I think some soldiers ended up in Turkey or the Ottoman Empire at the time. Maybe brought meatballs back with them. Maybe something like that, or I think there's a story about like some chef or the royal court or something, and the Swedish king really liked it, or I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Either way, it came from Turkey, so we didn't emit those me the meatballs. They're not ours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably, probably also taken from the Ottoman Empire. Who then, pro I mean, the Ottomans probably in then in turn took it from you know the Syria Lebanon region. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's usually how you you make them. Yeah. I mean, we don't fucking have we can't grow like grape vines here. We don't have vineyards. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh let me Google. Adrian Cole. What is that? Curly kale in English apparently. You don't like you don't like it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I every now and then I'll try an olive. And every time I'll decide, no, I still don't like olives. <laughs> I, w I wish I liked olives. You know? Well, yeah, but not everyone remembers. <laughs> she she remembers it for all her kids except for you. Yeah. Well, we were talking about Ben getting a Wikipedia page the other day. Mm hmm I guess so. Yeah. Oh no. I don't I don't I don't think you can sleep that close to to, to the the pregnancy coming to term. I mean I mean to to be fair, to be fair, uh I know there are a few people who have had very easy pregnancies. Um especially if they've had multiple pregnancies. Um some people say that it gets easier with each one and then like by the sixth kid it's just like oh whatever boop they're out yeah exactly you know it just it just comes out um but for you know that's that's not uh, everyone and especially if it's your first pregnancy you're definitely not just like chillaxing and having a nap before <laughs> the baby's due <laughs> <laughs> no, the East Germans, uh, they have, they invented this, uh, um, curry ketchup thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, something about, like, uh, hot dogs were, like, Western... Uh, degeneracy or something so they couldn't sell hot dogs so they invented like some some something I forgot what they're called currywurst 
Oh, I guess that's probably going to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for saying my full name and title. Although you should have included PhD. <laughs> um, but I have a, a degree of degree of philosophy uh, and uh, a law degree. And yeah. I'm a I'm a doctor of philosophical lawyering. I'm a PhD doctor esquire. <laughs> me is well right now me is actually scapegoat, but when Grom was saying me, me was Grom. Well then, I don't know who me was. Asher is Peter. That explains so much. Gain the extra hour. <laughs> it takes Ben an hour to make a TikTok. Does it take Ben an hour to make a TikTok? <laughs> Wasn't my intention to judge. I was merely asking. I'm 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 just asking questions, okay? Fell in a hole. This isn't even anything. An email to like their, uh, professor or a uh, TA are like, hey, sorry, I can't come into class on this date because the moon is going to be in cancer. So I'm going to be feeling bad all day. And uh, it was an astronomy class. And they were going to go to uh, they were going to go to a moon uh, observatory to observe the moon. It was not an astrology class. It was an astronomy class. Um, and they they said can't come into class because the moon is going to be in cancer. But, you know, whatever. We don't have mandatory uh, attendance in Sweden. So, don't even need an excuse to not show up here. It means you've wasted your time.
Oh, bye, Mr. Hansen. <laughs> wow. That's my founder. It's my founder. Uh, awesome Everton asks, um, can you teach in Sweden with a non-Swedish qualification? And the answer is yes, you can. If you have, um, if you have a degree, um, uh, an equivalent degree to, to, you know, a teacher's license or a pedagogy degree, then you can teach. Um, at least um, within the EU, it should be no problem whatsoever. If it's uh, from outside the EU, then it depends on the country, probably. But uh, you don't need to have specifically gone to a Swedish university to be able to teach in Sweden. You don't even technically need to speak the language. Uh, you can teach a class in, in English, uh, even at... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I had a fucking uh, uh, foreign exchange student at my high school from Austria, and I think, like, when he first got to class, he spoke like, I don't know, n like a few words of Swedish, maybe. I mean, he he practically didn't speak the language at all, and we always interacted with him in English. And then I think, like, two weeks or something went by, and he started being able to like sit in on on i mean he was always sitting in on lectures and stuff in swedish even though he didn't speak swedish but like he you know he was picking up the language and probably at least by the end of that like semester everyone had switched to just talking to him in in swedish cuz he would just became like he he reached like a fully conversational level it was like insane to see just how fast he he learned uh New language. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Unless you, they're like a convicted war criminal. Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh, what were they doing in uh, 1999? And what country were they in? Oh, shit. At once? Don't bother me while I'm gaming. Ah! I am literally playing Minecraft. Yeah, while we're playing bus simulator? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I got really, uh, I got heated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was throwing fists. 
Uh, no, I apologize for that. angry I just don't yell it's not like I don't have the emotional capacity to feel anger <laughs> I'm not stunted <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know. I mean, like, the, what is like, what? How how irritated do you have to be before it's like anger? Like, what 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 like what do you what what uh, what are the requirements of something to be anger instead of just being frustrated? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, like in a heated, like a heated discussion, right? Like raising, raising your voice. Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, I was angry. Yeah. No, I don't know. I I guess I I always just feel that I I get frustrated, but not really angry. But I don't know. I mean, maybe fucking other people perceive it differently. Maybe everyone else just like perceives me as this fucking blaming uh, goat that's just always ready to pounce. Yeah. Well, they they do say to look look out for the the silent ones. Silent but deadly. That's what they always call me. Nothing. No. All right. <laughs> oh yeah I get it yeah I mean yeah good nice pun wow damn that's impressive <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's That's so like can you imagine <laughs> They're just like you're going to die like tomorrow. Like, could you imagine going to an interview and then the interview he just like looks at your palm and they're like, oh, I don't know, your vibes are off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can work here. And then you just you're unemployed because you're your fucking lifeline or whatever. <laughs> mm. 
Ja. 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 Do you believe in me? Wow. Yeah, I've done that. I've done the communion where you eat the cracker and drink the wine. Yeah, I've done that too. But that, that wasn't a religious thing. No, that was just that camp. It's just like hot, like hot piece of coal. It's not like f on fire. It's just like hot coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that there are degrees, right? Like, like you, you know, you can have it be like actually on fire if you want, but we didn't do it that hardcore. And it, and it's just like, uh, no, no. There's a technique to it, so you don't burn yourself. It doesn't really hurt. Yeah. And um you know like uh um b uh, the whole bed of nails thing um where like you can have you know street performers and stuff they're just lying on like a bed of nails um and they're just like chilling and it doesn't hurt them. It's like kind of the same principle I guess. It's like if you do it if you like know the technique if you do it correctly then it's fine. Um, and for lying on, on a bit of nails, it's just like, I don't know, something about like the, the weight of your body on or something. I don't, I don't, I, I can't remember, but it's just like, if you're lying still and if you get on there slowly, then you're good. It's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, meditation is um, super good for you, even if you're doing it like you know, secularly or, or whatever. Like, um, uh, I've done, um, uh, therapy for, um, uh, ADHD, which is based on, uh, a Buddhist technique of, uh, meditation. Uh, I don't remember what it's called in Swedish. It's just, um, medvetenhetstraining, which is, I guess it's just consciousness exercise or, yeah, you're just, um, yeah, it's an exercise in being conscious of your surroundings and stuff. Um, and it, yeah, like it's a Buddhist form of meditation, mindfulness training. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, it's a Buddhist form of meditation, but it, it's just like been adapted and secularized to work in as a, you know, normal medical kind of therapy. But it's, you know, it's the same stuff.
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, big a big part of it is um acceptance and uh, like ac accepting the way that things are or, or being able to uh, to just to um, to describe things and to to see things and visualize things without uh, put like ascribing emotions to it hmm mm. Mhm. Ja. Ja. <laughs> the male urge to do anything but therapy <laughs> yeah yeah it, it, it sucks that there's just like this toxic masculinity like aversion to to like do therapy or I mean even even like like going to the doctor when you're sick and stuff uh, just like refusing to <laughs> well yeah but like uh, even like if you're in you know, somewhere that has like single payer and, and money is not the issue right you can still get people who are just like no I'm a tough I'm, I'm a macho man I don't need a doctor to take a look at me you know I'll get through this you know like you had fucking people you know during the pandemic that were like oh I'm fine I'm healthy I exercise so I don't need to wear a mask I don't need the vaccine you know like that's like toxic masculinity like just thinking that you're yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I know that's like the most fucking Swedish experience, isn't it? To be like, you're sick and you want to go to the doctor, but then you're like, I don't know. I feel like the nurses or the doctor would be like annoyed if I came in and it wasn't serious. Like, I don't want to waste their time. So, you know, I probably should just like stick it out and like wait and see what happens. And if it gets real bad, then then I can go see the doctor. But like, I don't want to. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm <coughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Ja. Ja. Mm. I mean the idea is that like you know, if everyone who showed up to the to the doctor's office and like I don't know, their stomach hurts a bit. If every single one of those people was just kept in the hospital overnight, you know that that's going to occupy a lot of hospital beds and you know 99 times out of 100 if someone has a bit of an upset stomach you tell them they have a bit of an upset stomach and to go home and rest and then they don't come back um yeah sometimes it gets more serious but then in that case they can just go back to the hospital and like the, you know you don't need to keep watch of everyone who comes in so yeah, a lot of the time when you go into the doctor's office, it's, you know, maybe you get a prescription for something. Usually it's just, that's probably okay. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Go home, rest, maybe, I don't know, do this or take that. And then call us in this many days and let us know how it's going. Yeah, 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 you got... Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've never really had any bad experiences uh, with healthcare in, in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ma like, mental health care is, is underfunded. So. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. If they if they're available, yeah. It dep like um you can you can choose that for yourself as well. If you think if like if it's important to you that you get the same doctor, then you can say like you you want the same doctor. But if you want like to see any doctor as soon as possible, then you can just be like I'll take anyone. Yeah. 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 Um and yeah, um obviously Grom and I are both uh saying we haven't had any bad experience with the uh, healthcare in Sweden. Uh, we are saying that from the perspective of very white Swedish people. Uh, so that experience uh, does not necessarily transfer to people of other backgrounds. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of horror stories about people being treated um, very badly uh, or being disrespected. No, um, so the, you don't you, you don't need to be like a a, a citizen or, or or things like that. There are rules about foreigners. Um, if you're not if you're not a citizen or a resident, uh, then you have to pay a bit more. Um, but still not like completely uninsured levels, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, as for IDs, um, I was I was thinking about it the other day actually, because there is a problem with um, uh, voting in Sweden. Like, 
a lot like in the US, you know how like homeless people uh, or people without an address, right? They can have uh, trouble doing, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, even getting, you know, being employed and stuff can require you having like an address. Um, and in Sweden, um, voting can be difficult, not impossible, um, but difficult if you don't have uh, an address because you, you're you supposed to get um, a voting card thingy in the mail that tells you where you're supposed to go to vote. And you need, if you're going to vote before election day, because you have two weeks before the actual day of the election to cast your ballot, if you want to do that, then you need that voting card. But if you don't have an address, then you don't get one. Uh, you can still go on election day uh, to, I think, no, you, you, yeah, you still, you have to know which voting location, like which vo polling place you, you're supposed to go to. But there's like no way for you to find out because it, like the, that information is on the piece of paper that you're supposed to get in the mail. But if you don't have an address, then you don't get it. But if you do figure it out, maybe if there's only one, you know, one voting location, and if you live in like a smaller town or something, um, then um, so long as you have any kind of valid ID, then you can vote on election day. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, still a pain. Um, but yeah, um, like, uh, if you're, a, if you're a resident and stuff, I was thinking about like the ways to get an ID, like how you would go about getting an ID in, in Sweden if you don't have one. Um, and I, and I can't really think of like the cheapest or like the, yeah, I guess like the, the cheapest, the, the cheapest way to actually get get your hands on an ID um, like a passport yeah yeah I mean it's any valid ID right so it could be a driver's license it could be an ID issued by like the bank yeah mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to be uh, eating, uh, so I might mute myself, uh, so, yeah, just so you know. Yes, munch, munch.
Ja. Ja. Um, I saw, speaking of cops in Sweden, I saw some cops yesterday. Uh, they were at uh, this gyros place that we go to pretty often. And they were just like eating lunch and uh, and chatting. And then we went outside. And then they were, they had parked their car like on, like half on the sidewalk and all and half in like a no parking zone like emergency like you know evacuation route stuff like yeah exactly they were cops and they were hungry and that was the emergency armed no mm, no <laughs> well yeah they, there are more people to be racist against where you live than where I live there are too many white people here Maybe they were. I mean, it, they were wearing the, the like the high visibility uh, vest, said police, and they had a belt, and one of them had a hat, and I think that's it. I didn't see a gun. Okay, I'll yeah, I'll walk up to him and take it out of the holster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, so the thing about uh, guns in the car. So I live in uh, uh, West Gothia province and in high school. Now this was, you know, this was, you know, uh, some time ago. Uh, so maybe the, you know, the laws or the policies or whatever have changed. But in high school, we, in social studies class, a police chief um, came to, to class and talked about like the job that cops do and, you know, some laws about policing and stuff. And uh, he mentioned that uh, their their policy is to not keep a gun on the on their person, but to keep it in the trunk of their car, and then to when they if they need to use it in like a firefight, they call in to the radio and say, "I am retrieving the gun from my trunk," and then they don't have to wait for a response; they just have to radio it in, and then they can take the gun out. Uh, that's what I was told back then. But, I mean, that was like a decade ago, so it could have changed. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could have been a... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, is that normal? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. 
Really? I have no idea. I've never done it. I mean, I, I've like I've seen YouTube polls. Like most people do, say that they prefer watching normal videos instead of shorts. Yeah, they're just they're just the the whole thing is just clunky, and it for some reason it drains my phone's battery. Whenever I watch like one or two shorts, it's just like it drains much more battery than just a normal YouTube video, and I have no idea why. <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably what it is. On your ticky talky. <laughs> Every day. When's the rasher coming back? When's the rasher coming back? streamed uh like anytime i streamed where you were not there someone was in chat asking where's grom so i feel like that's just karma coming your way yeah mm -hmm. Hello, first chatter, welcome. When did that first chatter thing get implemented? Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mod in every channel on Twitch, so I always see it. Yeah, that's part of the mod. Yes. Son? I don't know. No. No. <laughs> I like how I told Sebs that I watched Hassan sometimes, or like I've watched some of his streams from time to time, and now Seb, in Sebs' mind, I'm just like the biggest Hassan fan. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't do that. <laughs> it's hard to disappoint. I don't think I've ever watched Hassan Daily. I don't have time for that. Do you know how much he streams? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I like I've always watched 
No, go ahead. No, I like I, I've never had a problem watching people who like are uh, I don't know have different opinions to me or who are, like I did, don't agree with, right? Like I can I can totally like watch uh videos from people that like I don't think are good people, you know? Like I I don't feel uh uh like I have to boycott someone just because they're like I don't know, they've said something or or whatever. <laughs> like I it's like I don't feel like me me watching a video is me like making a conscious decision that I'm like supporting someone. Yeah. Yeah, but watching Ben Shapiro is funny. Yeah, no, it's not for everyone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, can, I just want to preface since this is on my my channel. I don't know who he is. I don't wanna. Yeah, I I, I don't wanna like uh, officially uh, take a stance on uh, <laughs> a, uh, any streamers mentioned, uh, but on this channel, I'm not taking any stances. Uh, I'm not uh, supporting or. Or canceling or or anything. I I just I just want to play my video games. Um, my my views are not my own. Uh, <laughs> no, no, my my view. Don't listen to what I say. Listen to what I should have said. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess that goes back to like how we were talking about how, you know, I don't really get angry and stuff. Like I don't I don't get pissed off. No, no, I just like I don't I don't very easily get angry. And like I don't I don't feel frustrated watching like right wingers or, or liberals or anything. Like I don't feel that frustration. I find them funny. Yeah. No, I, I, I think it's funny. Like uh like Lib Liberty Hangout, like the Liberty Hangout interviews, like they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh my fucking god. I'm getting fucking text messages that are advertisements from the fucking pharmacy. Like... No, from... No, from, from Apotheket, which is like... Well, it used to be the state-owned pharmacy, the only pharmacy. Uh, but then in... I think it was partially private. I think the government still owns, like, some some share of it or whatever but they're the ones who are supposed to be not fucking annoying and consumerist Ugh. But now they are yeah like fucking send me uh spam emails like a normal fucking corporation don't send me text messages while i'm streaming to tell me to buy fucking i don't know foot cream yeah that too <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That it yeah. That is what is what is ultimately best for you. Um, but you have to consider that going to the pharmacy is not about um, getting your prescription that a doctor has told you to that you need to live. Uh, going to the pharmacy is actually about shopping for things. And it's about buying, you know, uh, creams for your face and your feet and buying uh, dental products and floss and uh, sugar-free candy for some reason and makeup. They have lots of makeup. Sex to- uh, no, I don't think they have sex toys, do they? In, pharma in pharmacy? Really? What pharmacy is it? Like what- which one? That's the- that's Ika, isn't it? That's the- yeah, the- the grocery- like the uh, grocery- store chains uh, own like pharmacy thingy yeah that yeah that's Ika what Yeah. Hmm. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, it is fully possible that they do sell that at all pharmacies, and I've just never been to the intimate section. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah. Do people normally buy condoms and stuff at the pharmacy? It feels like a weird place to get like intimate stuff. It 
the, the grocery store. Like, I mean, yeah, gas stations, corner stores. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're like plan, uh, like, kind of like Planned Parenthood, I guess, but it's like, it's like a youth, youth, uh, sexual health clinic. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm, probably government, uh, like government subsidized or government sponsored. It's one of those like Verwaltungsstiftelse things where it's like, yeah, the government pays for it but doesn't like have a role in controlling it, basically. Mm, yeah, sometimes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh there's also um uh Ungdoms Metargetingen, which is uh like mental health uh for youth, uh, children and young adults. And they they have the same thing where they uh they don't tell your parents that you're you've been there if you don't want them to. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean what what like what was the op what was the dialogue? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean you have um schools can also offer uh counseling which it it varies in quality but um you know the school counselors are supposed to be uh you know educate you know uh what's the word like licensed uh, like properly um educated to 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 deal with you know young people and uh wide variety of issues ranging from you know emotional mental uh, to you know concerns about sex and relationship and that kind of thing um yeah i i, I saw my uh, my school counselor very often when uh, uh when i was in uh, middle school before i went to um uh started going to like therapy because <clears throat> I I just uh, like I needed someone to talk to about like feeling depressed or like not wanting to get out of bed and that kind of thing and she helped me like uh you know get in contact with um the uh, uh BUP which is the youth and uh what children and youth psychiatry um uh, and you know just help me through like the, the the process of um you know starting starting therapy with with like a you know a psychiatrist um but also just like getting to talk uh you know i don't think i don't think we talked every day but multiple times a week at least just kind of um you know get you know just just knowing that like i could go and see her if i needed to talk to someone um and stuff like that it was, it was very helpful and um like what when i've worked um uh, in in classrooms like as a teacher myself i've always like been sure to remind uh my students that you know this school counselor is there and if you feel like you need someone to talk to then i encourage you to give it a try because it really did help me when i was uh, their age <laughs> well, I'm not licensed. Like, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a degree in, in uh, counseling. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if they're still around, actually. I th yeah, I th I think they are. Um, but like, uh, you know, at the last school I worked at, I was told um, when I first started there by a colleague. I think she was like assistant, pr the assistant principal there or something. Um, she told me that like, oh yeah, the school has a friends organization or something, but I never saw them. Like I never saw any like evidence of their existence at all. Like they might as well not have been there. Uh, not that we were dealing with a lot of bullying at the time, um, but 
Yeah, I don't know like what what friends was doing exactly, but I was told that they were there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we um uh there actually are um every now and then uh the teachers have like their um I don't know, educational days or or whatever like where where You know the students get a the all the students get a day off, uh, and the teachers get to you know work on stuff. A lot of the time it's just you know they need an extra day to uh, you know do administrative work and paperwork and stuff. Um, but we also get um, you know like visiting lecturers and stuff that can hold presentations and talk about things that are relevant to you know teaching and stuff, and something that. Uh, it's talked about a lot is is like attitudes and like gender stereotyping and oh hey ben thanks for rating <laughs> oh wow that's so many follows Um, but yeah, like, uh, that, that, that thing about like guys being guys, that is something that probably a good chunk of, uh, teachers in Sweden have had to, you know, sit through a, a lecture about, uh, you know, how that attitude is not helpful <laughs> anymore, like, you know, and, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm 
<laughs> last year. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, at least change the... Yeah. I mean, at least the, the nature of bullying is changing. Wow. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like, um, for if, if, if an insecure person is the subject of jokes like that, and the, you know, the bullies aren't realizing that it's not mutual, right? That, you know, cause, cause you, you can have those situations where people 
are joking around and they are being mean spirited, but they feel like that's just our way of, you know, ban this is banter, right? It's just our way of like having fun with each other. Um, but they're not actually, you know, it's not it actually mutual. I mean, we banter all the time in voice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat that food? Uh, I see you're eating lunch. That's pretty funny. Mm. 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 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> what is this sarcasm explain it to me Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. I'm only here out of contractual obligation. Yeah. Uh, but we were talking about um, possibly starting a Minecraft server with uh, Arlcraft on it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Mm, yeah. Education. No, no, it it's all it's all one uh, it's all um one through nine here. We just call it um we call it uh Hög Stadiet. But it's it's just the last three years of uh you know, elementary school. No, no. It's just a cultural I guess like a yeah. You, 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 it's just like uh, it's like a significant in, in, in kids lives because it's like kind of I don't know you feel like when, when you enter middle school it, you're like you're, you're yeah 
you're you're a, not not quite an adult, but like you're you're a you're a teen. You know, you're you're um yeah, you're a teenager. You're you're cool. Mm, well, you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know how the U.S. system works exactly. No, I just meant like obviously. I I I I believe that you like. I take your word for it. I just wanted to say I don't know anything about the U.S. system. Like the all, all I know f about the the U.S. education system is from like what we learned about like yeah exactly <laughs> um but yeah so like what 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 are the years in like elementary school and and like when does middle school start in in the U.S. So when you when you've done elementary school, you like you move on to a different school that is uh, like a middle school. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, how different is it in Peru? Hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah, I, oh, I had that, actually. Um, but I think that was mostly just due to, like... No, actually, I think that was just because we didn't have enough teachers, actually. Yeah, I th we, they put together uh, my year group and then the two years. Yeah, we had, we had like, a... Um, I think they, like took down a wall and joined like two classrooms together to make one giant classroom. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you.
Mm. The free territory in Ukraine. Um, all of Grom's opinions are his and do not represent the stance of the Azure Scapegoat brand. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a, a very bougie um, charter school that uh, was like this whole media thing like where they're just like you know, all aspects of, of the education had something to do with media but I wasn't doing the, the media like program they had, uh, like, I was doing the, the, the societal program, the social studies program, which they had, but it was clearly just, like, an afterthought, uh, which is like, okay, we can't only have, like, the media program. We need to also have, like, something else. So they just threw in the social studies thing. So I went to, like, a really media, uh, like, a, a really, like, media-focused um, high school, but... I just didn't study media. Uh, oh, hey, Ashlyn. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, but it was a charter school, right? So, like, they get about the same amount of money as a public school does, but they're worse because they also take like that they, they take part of the budget and turn it just use it as profit right instead of spending all the money that they get on like the school they take part of the money that they get and spend it on putting in the pocket of the owners right so they have a smaller budget <laughs> so but you know they, they spend it on like you know laptops and shit um, so that they can advertise and be like, hey, if you come to this school, you get a free laptop. But then they don't have, you know, lunch because they can't afford lunch. So you don't have, you don't get food, but you do get a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Charger types. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like um the system used to be in in Sweden that all schools were public schools and the school that you went to was just the one that you lived closest to. Um but then they started doing charter schools and um uh, they introduced the school choice, free school choice. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, because it gives you so much freedom. But what it does uh, in practice is that it creates a market for schools, where schools aren't just places of education. They're now businesses that have to compete for consumers, which are the students. Um, so, you know, you start seeing, like, schools... Like, whenever it's time for... Uh, you know whenever the, the like the time of the year when it's time for for people to like start signing up and applying to to high schools you start seeing advertisements just everywhere for all the different schools like um come to our school you get a laptop come to our school we have i don't know you get to go outside or something like all every school tries to have like their gimmick and yeah, like, I don't know, we have outside spaces. You, you, the, the lessons take place outside sometimes, you know, stuff like that. You know, like, just some, some gimmick, right? And then, you know, the, the quality of the education, well, that's secondary. You know, the whole point is to get someone in, you know, to, to, to apply to the school, right? And then to, like, make sure that their, their education is of any quality. That's like, well, you know, they've already applied, you know, they've already come to the school, right? So, the more often than not they're just going to stick around and they're probably not going to you know leave and go to a different school unless it's really terrible um so yeah and then you know schools only get so much money right and they spend a big chunk of that budget uh you know that tax money that they get um on advertisements because you know they make more money if more students come to their school because in the eyes of the government, if a lot of students are applying to a school, then that means that that school is doing a good job. But actually, it's just the school that spent the most on advertising. So it's the school that has the, the smallest budget for actual education and the biggest budget for marketing. And that's the school that gets the most money from the government because they're, you know, evidently they're the best school. <laughs> yeah. yeah the f yeah the f yeah yeah no one no one cared about the the school market until uh minorities were allowed to start their own schools. And then it's like, well, we can't, we can't let that happen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we can't, we can't ban. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's totally not about the religion. It's about the political Islam. You know, they're indoctrinating kids into uh, Islamist uh, political ideology. Yeah. Yeah. Blinding? Is that a pun? I don't get it. 
Oh, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, Sebs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, and it's it's so funny cuz it's like oh, you know, they can't to like uh Muslim charter schools because that you know, they're not trying to integrate. Like they're they're trying to be separate from the rest of the country. And it's like, first of all, so what? Second of all, they've been fucking segregated already, like, by the fucking system that puts immigrants in, like, one single, like, city district and puts them all together and, like, makes an effort to, like, lower any chance at, like, you know, social, uh, or, like, financial mobility um, and just keeps like the the middle class white swedish population segregated from uh any and all ethnic minorities it's like it's, it's not their like them trying to segregate themselves from the rest of society they've already been segregated like it's fucking victim blaming Yeah. An Asher scapegoat. How dare they? I will fight them! <laughs> yeah. I consent. How dare they be against my way of life? All I want to do is play Minecraft. A day of remembrance. Happy nine eleven. I mean, I've seen like I've seen um commercials from the U.S. that are like, "This nine eleven, we have a special on for pillowcases. The prices are crumbling, falling down, like the towers, you know, shit like that. Like it is kind of a holiday." At least for some people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Grom, let's give him the advice he would get from a Swedish doctor. Uh, take some ibuprofen and call us back in 24 hours and let us know how it feels. <laughs> yeah. 
Ja. Ja. Hmm. Well, I mean, in the US, they just give you uh, opioids for fucking anything, ending them up like uh, Tic Tacs. Like, oh, you have a cold here, have some opium. <laughs> yeah. yeah you can actually take both um, you can take both ibuprofen and paracetamol at the same time Yeah. <clears throat> and I think there were something about something recently about like ibuprofen and pregnancies. But <clears throat> well, it yeah. It, it's Hmm. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> yeah. Each and every one of us is a specialist in a different medical field. Everything we say should be taken as medical advice. And if if you act on that advice and something goes wrong, you are allowed to sue us. Yeah, you, yeah, you can sue Ben. <laughs> mm. Why is that a thing in the US? Why do they always say that? Yeah, but why? I see. Some matter of national security.
Damn it. Juicy says, a lot of Azure's is dying in the background and some not cultural are talking on the background. Who, who is not cultured? <laughs> is Ben not cultured? That's true. He can't cook. You, I mean, you say that, but you can't even cook pasta. <laughs> Every day I wake up and I cry because I know I have to face the vanguard. Shoving him in lockers. Yeah. He's Danish. <laughs> yeah. The true the true natives of uh Scandinavia. The indigenous people, if you will. Yeah. I go when I go to the UK and I burn churches and take their gold uh the police try to arrest me but I'm just you know that's just my cultural heritage you know like that's what my ancestors did and I'm just keeping the tradition alive and also it's the UK so you know who cares yeah and then I reinstall the Dane law
What? Yeah, I have. I've died like 70 times. No, I managed to get a bed and uh, save the spawn point. That's, it's fine. I slept in a bed. It's the, the first time I moved the bed. And I, I died with it in my inventory because I had to move from the jungle. Because I was looking for somewhere that had birch trees because that's how you get paper. No, that would be that would be pretty ruthless. Yeah. Although I, I don't really remember what all the lib stuff that Ben said when we met. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he still is. He just does it secretly. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for the call out. Just uh, accidentally revealed Ben is still a lib. <laughs> yeah, Antonio Gramsci, yeah. He's good. <laughs> Are you saying Grom is fucking God forming the world out of a lump of clay? Alright. <laughs> Psst. <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Swedish people do have a lot of things to be sorry for. Okay. You owe me. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grom, what did it sound like? Oh, yeah, sure. No, no, no. What, uh, what, what did Ben's accent sound like?
<laughs> boss champ. Boss champ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see. Hmm. I mean, you could have just done the Swedish uh, chef thing. Yeah. Which, we don't even... We never even got Sesame Street in Sweden, did we? Hmm. Yeah. I am Jarl Herskir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think in Skyrim, they like wanted to make make the Scandinavian accent sound like cool, you know? Whereas in, in reality, it's not. I mean, it, it, I think I probably wouldn't have played Skyrim if all the Nords in that game were running around doing actual, like, Swedish accents. Yeah, exactly. Um, skulle du kunna go to the the quest location? Um, I have a very important mission for you to do. I will pay you fem guldmynt. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That was uh, a golem something. What, what are they called? Algrishkur? I don't know. They come out when you mine stuff. Because there's nothing you do in this mod pack is uh, safe or peaceful. It's like, oh, you want to cut grass? Oh, yeah, there's a monster for that. You want to mine some coal? Yeah, there's a monster for that. Holy shit, that thing is very powerful. Uh, I don't even know if I can take that. It's level 2. <laughs> it's level 2 and I'm doing like no damage against it. Happy Red October Day. Is it Red October Day? I guess there is, yeah. That 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 one old dude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's always the the really uh really strong macho men who are simultaneously terrified of uh brown kids. Like five years old, they're like that kid could have a fucking AK forty seven in his pants. Like I don't know, I feel terrified. Yeah. Just hiding it down like the leg. You know, you never know. <laughs> I'll have no choice. I'm too socially awkward to say no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you call the police? <laughs> yeah. Uh I can I can imagine like a sketch or something where it's like a Swedish dude walks into a store, but it's like the wrong store, you know, when you accidentally walk into a, like a store and you look around it's like, "Oh, this is not like these, the store is not selling the kind of stuff that I came in here for. But like now I'm in here and I would feel awkward just turning, like leaving without buying anything. But it's just, uh, like, I don't know, walking into like a, a cannabis dispensary or something, or like a store that sells like PCP or something, and you're just like awkwardly like walking around looking at stuff like, oh, heroin, oh, interesting, huh. Yeah, do you have this one in a different uh color? What uh what's the flavor of this uh the the her heroin? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like a present for a uh, yeah, um for, for uh, my dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like, why would you come into a store and then walk out and not buy anything? Clearly, it's because you shoplifted. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, what, I mean, what, what could possibly happen if you didn't? I mean, they could arrest you right there and then. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> it just just uh put your hands in your pocket and like uh put your hood up and run out of the store to lo not look suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not like it's not a Swedish thing, it's just a socially awkward thing. But Swedish people are socially awkward, so Yeah, yeah. And uh, not exclusively, but it is, yeah. We're not, we're not, we don't claim ownership of uh, being awkward. Yeah. It's our heritage. Yeah. Okay, we invented racism one time. One time. Yeah. 
Not bad, or Swedish police. Depends on where you live in the country and the color of your skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does. Uh, like, if you live in uh, an area that's, uh, you know, majority, minority, or, you know, that's been purposely segregated so that only people of color live there, then it's over-policed automatically. Uh, yeah, but but was was that guy even Turkish? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyone who wasn't white was Turkish. Yeah, he just emerges from the forest looking for the culprit. Who was it? Who was it who threw it? Wasn't he? He was wearing like a pink shirt or something, right? Wasn't he? Like he, he yeah. I mean, he was looking fly, though. I mean, honestly, he had drip. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's done anymore. Ah, I see. Yeah, but I, you know, like it, uh, the, the percentage, uh, of, uh, what am I saying? I uh, like, uh, the, the, uh, there aren't that many, uh, Turks anymore, relatively speaking, to, uh, immigrants from other countries. So the whole Turk thing, uh, just kind of went away. I mean, the race, the racism perspective, uh, uh, persisted, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, in in my generation, I think. Uh, I mean, I I lived in like the north. So I didn't live in like a big city or anything. So it's pretty much just exclusive to my experience. But I think Turkish people were the most common immigrants, at least up until a point. There was another wave of immigrants, I think, from uh, Ethiopia. Do you remember that? Uh. Yeah. No. No. We're we're not. From the same generation, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I I forget what the uh, what it was that that happened when uh, when the Ethiopian immigrant wave came. But when was it? And what was it that like what was the the what was happening in the world? That was wasn't that in the eighties, nineties? Was there? A, I mean, the civil wars. Does anyone in chat know Ethiopian history? <laughs> yeah. I mean... I mean... I mean, welcome to my life. Like, I'm asked, like, every country that has ever had a socialist government, I'm asked about, like, my opinion on them. It's like, I don't... Yeah. Like, what do you think about the socialist government in uh, Angola? It's like, oh, yeah, dude, I, uh, I know so much about that. I'm the perfect person to ask. <laughs> yeah, there was. Up until uh, two two years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, briefly, they were invaded by the Italians during World War Two, but they did. What they weren't colonized. Um, yeah. 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 You want to know the latest news from Laos? Uh, farmers are uh, very happy. They're uh, sowing sowing the rice. Yeah. Well, all I have the perfect Laotian newspaper for you. <laughs> Yeah. Did you know that um, the Czech Republic is the number six leader in the EU for technology innovation? <laughs> Stuff you only learn from Laotian newspapers. <laughs> yeah. Ethiopia had a socialist government, then they had a civil war. Later on, ethnic uh, Tigrayans controlled most of the country. Well, right now, there is uh, the conflict between the um, the government in Amara and the, the Tigray People's... Uh, Tigray People's Army, I think? Who are uh, sort of left, left-wing-ish. Uh, but most, you know, mostly fighting for... Um, ethnic federalization and uh, autonomy for Tigray. Um, yeah, there was a left-wing government in Ethiopia up until, I think it was two years ago, when uh, a bunch of centrists formed a, a coalition and they created like a unity party or prosperity party or something. Yeah. Yeah, they're they had like fiscal liberals. Um, yeah, I mean not that much. Like they were, they were, I, as far as I could tell, it's not like they drastically changed everything about the country overnight when they changed, like when the centrist like came in charge. But like, I don't know. I mean, Ethiopia had already been doing like privatization and market reform for a long time by that point. <laughs> what 
Well, I just have a bunch of random tidbits of information. And it's not like I... <laughs> yeah, pretty much it. My wheat isn't growing. Yeah. Then food? <laughs> well, I mean, being in a survival situation, it's like high stress, you know? Like, you need a way to, like, calm your nerves. So, yeah, it is, it is pretty important. <laughs> well, that doesn't work for everyone, okay, Grom? Swedish teachers, copium, yeah, who doesn't? That's why, <laughs> you just exemplified the reason why. Yeah, I mean, Sebs is gonna be like an expert in Swedish geography soon, I think. Eh. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Stockholm. People in Stockholm are libs, right? People in Stockholm are libs. And kind of like annoying hipsters. Uh, people in Skåne are Nazis. And you're saying the... <laughs> Yeah. Not all of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> is that a problem? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have like a few cities. Uh, Soleftio, uh, Sunsval, I think, is not Sapmi. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you still you got the population centers. And then the Sami have their traditional lands. Umeå is not real Norland. That's true. It's not. Umeå is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the border of uh, what's North Sweden and South Sweden depends on how far north you were born. If you were born, like, at the very, you know, in the very north in, uh, 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 what's, what the fuck is it called? Um, Jokmuk. Then, um, basically... All of Sweden is southern Sweden. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, the nor northern Sweden starts south of the middle of the country. 
according to Southerners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm good. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. Don't you know Catholics are the real minority? Yeah. But that just means we're a more important minority. <laughs> Cat yeah. Catholics in Sweden, I know if you look up the statistics, the the Muslim is like one point two, one point four something percent, and then Catholics is like one point six percent. There are more Catholics than Muslims in Sweden. Yeah, you say that, but Yeah. It's, it's, uh, like even, even during like the, the golden age of social democracy and full Kemet, you had, you know, like racial, uh, cleanliness policies, like they were called in like eugenics and for sterilization for, um, uh, gay people, trans people. Uh, yeah, no, like Sweden clung on to like, uh, race biology like racial science for uh into like the 70s i think like officially yeah hmm Yeah, even though the, the no-go zones, which is supposed to be the places where the police never go because they're so afraid of the Muslims, is actually where there are the most police. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, the no-go zones that are set up because the, the police refuse to go there because it's so violent. Like, literally only police there. <laughs> it's like... Fucking anytime you go into a so called no go zone, it's like 16 police cars. I lived in one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I, s I saw uh, it was a clip, I think it was like trending on uh YouTube in Sweden. I forget exactly what it was that happened, but it was some reporter from uh, Swedish television went into some uh, some street somewhere. I think it was in Gothenburg, uh, where I don't know some crime or something had happened that they were reporting on, and I think they were talking about like immigration or something, like oh, there's this uh, immigrant-heavy area or something, and then the camera 
like panned to a bunch of just random people across the street uh and just like filmed them to imply like oh here are the dangerous immigrant criminals you know and they asked the the journalists like hey could you stop like recording us and they just refused and uh i think they called the police or the police were already there or something um and then the police uh like came there and just started talking to them like okay no need to get aggressive now and all the while the fucking camera crew is still filming them uh and they're just like we just don't want to be filmed we don't want to be on the news can you stop filming us can you tell them to stop filming us and the cop is just like okay now let's let's be calm about this all right no need to get upset you don't have to be violent okay and it's like they're not being violent they're just asking the fucking camera crew to stop filming them and like implying that they're criminals yeah excited like like okay you don't need to threaten me like that like what do you mean i'm not threatening you like all right don't reach for that weapon now <laughs> it's just like what the fuck are you talking about i'm just standing here like, all right i'm i'm feeling threatened i feel like my life is in danger now so i'm gonna need you to take a step back yeah <laughs> Yeah. And then it, I it just ended with them just walking walking away and uh and yeah, they kept filming them. Yep. It's like, wow. Look at all these dangerous immigrants. Yep. Swedish cops just turn into American cops once they see a Muslim? Yes. Like, pretty much, yes. <laughs> um and like one of the like one of the the like you know uh causes of like segregation is like financial segregation where cities um have are like decentralized uh to to like an extent. It dep it depends on it varies from city to city a bit, but in uh basically uh if you like a neighborhood uh or like a, a city district right gets like its funding from uh, the taxation or uh, like the income tax the municipal income tax on the people who live in that district so if you live in a district that has a lot of rich people um even if they like they're not like the, even if the population is low, if the people who live there have a lot of money, then a lot of taxes comes into that city district. And so that city district has a lot of money to spend on health care and schools and parks and, you know, nice things that make the, you know, make it a nice place to live. But if you have a low income area where you ha maybe have a very large population, but their income is not yet at the point where they are taxed on it, right? Like that they're under the the income, like the part of the, like the, the 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 income bracket that either doesn't get taxed or they're part of like the lowest income tax bracket, right? Um, then you have a a city district that has a big population but almost no funding, and then it's just like yeah, that's a recipe for like you know shit falling apart and people being unhappy and alienated and you know youth not having like shit to do uh like places to be or or just where they can be allowed to like exist as young people um you know yeah so it's a very terrible system it's the uh, same thing happens to the Per 
you know, five, I don't know, 10, 20,000 inhabitants, you know, like in extreme cases. And, and then in rich neighborhoods, you can have like, I don't know, four, five different schools. So it's just like, oh yeah, fucking go to whichever school you want. And they're all great. And, you know, they all have tons of teachers and funding and everything. Cause it's like, they, they are paid for by a city district that, has a high budget because the parents in that district are rich. And you know, there, there are like, you know, state, um, yeah. there are, there are, you know, like government subsidies, like the central government will like push, uh, some, a bit of extra money toward like the areas that are like in need or whatever, but it's never enough. It's not enough to, to, to like actually compensate. Like there are these um what do they call them? Utsatta skolor, which is just like problem problem schools or something. And they get a bit of extra money from uh, from the government. But yeah, like it, it's not enough to actually fix the, the fundamental issue. No, we didn't. We we didn't really try either. Well, we did. We did promise we weren't gonna do racism anymore. So, I guess that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we have to we can't tolerate the Muslims because they are refusing to be tolerant like us who tolerate everyone Yeah, America should be exactly like uh, Sweden. Copy every single thing that we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean that is that is like literally just taken out of the playbook of the Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Like, in Scandinavia, the further, the further south you go, the more racist people are. Well, that's not really true. There are, there are racist people in the north, too. Somewhere around the middle is where you don't get as much racism. And then at the... Yeah, I mean, it's like... Okay, so Denmark racist, Skåne racist, and then 
as you start to leave Skorna, it's like gradually you get less racist uh, up until about Umeå, and then you're in Norrland, and then you get racism, and then you get to Sápmi territory, and then you don't get racism because it's indigenous territory. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean the people. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess the... Yeah. It's uh it's like um what do you call it? Like a greaser? Yeah, greasers, yeah. Yeah. No, it's heritage, not hate. You're from Vermont. No, it's heritage. I had a I had my great great grandfather's cousin was from West Virginia. <laughs> uh, racism or xenophobia, or is it both? Well, I mean, if it was xenophobia and not racism, then like if someone from Ethiopia moved here and they integrated and like just adapted to Swedish culture entirely and spoke perfect Swedish with no accent or anything, then there would be no problem, right? But racist people are still racist, so it's racism and not just xenophobia. So, I mean, there's not that big of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna force us all to 
to follow Shakira Law. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's all the Muslims are just really big fans of Shakira. Mm, I don't think there's any like, I mean, no, I, I don't think I've ever really heard of like, Racism against uh, Latina people in Sweden. Because I feel like most like old racist Swedish. Racist against them. Yeah. Yeah. Like if someone's like speaking Spanish or uh they have like a an accent that maybe gives away that they're from a Spanish speaking country, they'll just be assumed to be from Spain and yeah, people are fine with Spain. It's like, oh, you're from Chile? Okay. I don't know where that is. <laughs> What's, yeah, what part of Spain is that? I don't know. I mean, are you a Muslim? No? Well, okay. That's cool then. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh Yeah, Chile is also common because during the Pinochet regime we Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I mean, there, of course, there are there are Mexican immigrants here too. It's just not uh, like one of the biggest groups. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, why are you speaking in first person? <laughs> like, why are you like, hey, this is how I'm racist. This is how I, I practice uh, responsible racism. I don't say racist things in public. I wait until I get home to say racist things to my wife. Mm. Mm.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely been guilty of that. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't realize it, you know, uh, until someone actually told me that, like, you know, it's helpful for me to learn Swedish if I can actually get to talk to someone in Swedish which you know when you say it out loud it does make a lot of sense um, but yeah I was just thinking like oh you're struggling here let's switch to a language that is a bit easier so we can communicate easier you know it's like no no it's not the point <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about as much Spanish as you learn in public school. Yeah. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Yeah, just an omelette with cheese in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's been like it's been years since I made an omelet. Oh yeah, and a uh, wing um the the polite thing is is of course to to ask you know if they would like which language they prefer to speak in you know if someone wants to practice swedish with you then you speak swedish with them yeah <laughs> true <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, imagine not being able to put cheese on your eggs. Those poor vegans have to eat their omelets with just eggs and vegetables. <laughs> I think you're confusing vegans with the lactose intolerant. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, like No, I no, no, like of course I I I could It's not the default. 
like for for me the you know default omelet i mean omelet is is the kind of food where you don't you, you're not following a recipe you make the the base omelet and then you look in the fridge you look in the fridge and see what you have and then you put that in the omelet right but for me omelet is usually just eggs and <laughs> and vegetables um <laughs> Yeah. The rush is great. Yeah. It's tasty. Thai. Yeah, Thai. It's always uh, Thai on the bottle. It's like made in Thailand and... Mm. Um, yeah, they don't sell it everywhere here. Uh, it's become more common uh, in the last few years. Uh, but I th it used to be that you had to go to like uh, I don't know some some like small stores would stock it. Uh, sometimes you have like uh, Asian markets that are just you know import foods from uh, uh, Asian countries. Uh, you know like uh, glutinous rice and stuff used for people who want to like make Asian recipes or uh, you know uh, immigrants from uh, East Asian countries that are looking for like something specific from from their uh culinary uh yeah Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's the kind of hot sauce that has like a nice flavor to it and not the kind of like kind that has like a skull on the bottle that you only eat and like a dare you know like your your like uh dude bro friends are like oh come on dude it's gonna be so hilarious chug that entire bottle dude you know not that kind of spicy <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> That's so tough, dude. Well, what were we talking about before we started talking about Sriracha? <laughs> oh. The racists don't like sriracha.
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> What's I don't know. Peru probably has some good shit. Oh, I've seen, um, yeah, yeah, like I've seen sauces that are like, uh, California Reaper stuff. I can't remember if it was in a grocery store, if it was in, uh, uh, some like smaller shop somewhere, like, uh, like a small independent corner store or business, uh, just happened to stock a bunch of uh, hot sauces. Hmm. Tom Young ramen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's 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 fine. Yeah. No, no, like I've had time younger I mean, it's it, it's fine. I don't know. It Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like the best ramen I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Strong food opinions? Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I have strong food opinions. Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty flexible. Um, I can eat a lot of stuff. Um. I mean, yeah, like switching from from like a normal diet to a vegetarian diet. Like it took some getting used to, I guess, but it wasn't like the hardest thing I've ever done. It wasn't like quitting cigarettes or something. Like that was fine. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm not. I'm not a very picky eater. Yeah. God damn it. Mm. 
Uh, hmm. uh, thanks for the one bet, Jack Slight. Uh, do you get trolled often? Is it the followers only chat? Uh, not often, but more when we're in the politics category. Uh, right now we're in Minecraft, yeah. But I, I don't know. We don't need to change the, the settings. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> I don't think we've mentioned communism. I think we mentioned communism once at the beginning of the stream and then never again. God damn it. Hmm. Uh, 10 minutes is a bit much. Uh, 10 minutes is the lowest. Uh, change it to s something lower if you can. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I guess. <laughs> Nothing is going to fundamentally change for me. I could go either way. I could go either way. Yeah. I could go either way. Yeah. I mean, I can see the merit in uh, both sides of the argument. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's important that both sides, uh, you know, get to talk and, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't think uh, only one side of the issue should get to be represented. You know, I just wouldn't want it to become a one-party state. You know. You know, I think we really need to sit down and talk to people who believe the earth is flat. Yes, I feel like they might have some good ideas about some stuff. Maybe they're not right about everything, but I don't think the round earth people are right about everything either, you know? So, I mean, no one can be 100% right about every issue. You know, I just think we all need to be a bit more open-minded. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my stuff. Yeah.
Two part of stage to spice the dictatorship. Yeah. Well, we like spices. Sriracha. Sriracha dictatorship. What's wrong with a bit of spice? Yeah. Swedish regional infighting. I don't know. I don't have that much more to say on the matter. I've made my opinion clear. Maybe? I don't know. I, yeah, I forget. Uh... I feel like maybe there is something that you're supposed to do to actually get the plants to grow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make our dreams come true. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't like it. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll fucking do what I want. No, we've we've talked about this. Every time someone asks me to do something, I want to do anything but that thing. Tell me not to do drugs him. <laughs> I'm just extremely susceptible to uh, uh, reverse psychology. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Trains are terrible. What? How dare you? Yeah. What fucking Americans with their with their cars and eight of Public, what the god damn fucking. No, Canada's just North USA. Asher dies like an Olympian. How does an Olympian die? Slowly, then all at once, but... Also Scottish. <laughs> Are you, though? Like, by ancestry or birth? Right. <laughs> I feel like in, in Swedish 
it like the sense of like swedishness or belonging to like the swedish nation is almost exclusively tied to like residence like if you live here and you speak the language you're sweden swedish yeah yeah exactly uh and then you know if you're like maybe you were born in sweden but you, at a young age you moved to like the u.s then it's like yeah you're not really swedish anymore Yeah, because it's like, I mean, what the fuck, what do you know? Yourself Swedish, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, see, the reason... The reason that they're not true Swedish people is because outside of Sweden, they don't get uh, semlur. They don't get the uh, Swedish kanelbulla. Right? They don't get all the Swedish snacks that you can get here. And so they don't know the cultural experience of eating Swedish snacks and baked goods. And that's what it means to be Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish fish. Yeah, that's what Americans know. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. They're not even that good. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you... Yeah. No, I, I mean, yeah, but you have to die many times in order to get to the point where you don't die as often. Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to show me how it's done, Grum. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Mm hmm Okay, I can fuck it. Ah! I can hear the fucker. I can barely see it. It's fucking... It's in the wall. Fucking sneaking up behind me. Because it's a ghost. It's a banshee. <laughs> what do ghosts in Skorna not go through walls? Is it your mom? She just said she was a ghost. <laughs> are you? I mean, are you? Are the? Are your ghosts not dead? So they're they're corporeal and not dead, and they look like people. They're alive ghosts who are corporeal and look like humans. Are they alive humans? Okay, I see. Oh, wait, are you... Okay. I see the confusion. So... Oh, yeah. Uh, Ashleen, you can join. The... Yeah, there's an invite link in the uh, Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, not that one. It's the, it's the, the other one. 
Yeah, but I kind of realized there was no point in having two servers for no reason. <laughs> I don't know. They seem kind of busy. <laughs> I don't want to uh, fucking... Don't make me start beef with people. <laughs> Joe Biden. Yeah, I tried to play Minecraft with Joe Biden, but he didn't want to. <laughs> oh yeah, also M Everton is a mod on the Discord as well. Wow. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Grom was the only one who did not think he got kicked. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the that's the Scandinavian social contract uh, Jante Logan don't think you are someone I forget even what it is. It's like this old poem or something. It's just meant to describe like the... What? Anime? Oh, no, no. It's the opposite of that. Um, it, it, it's like a kind of, uh, cultural, uh, not, not collectivism, more just like, don't, don't, uh, but then the crowd, the, the wisdom of the crowd, that kind of stuff. So basically don't don't be from yeah, don't be from the US, basically. <laughs> don't be an obnoxious American tourist. Yeah, it, I mean it's it's less collectivism like in the sense that like, oh be there for your fellow man or something. It's 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 more or less like don't be a fucking dick. Like don't 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 think that you're special. Like don't 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 try to you know be this fucking special person. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, that's it. Like, that, that's Scandinavian culture, basically. 
like why you know why are you so special why do you think that you know you're different you're different from everyone else you know <laughs> yeah i'm the protagonist <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it's just uh, like, I guess it's it's kind of like be humble, you know, or like, yeah. Yeah. Not, not too much, not too little. Don't overdo, don't overdo stuff. Which is, you know, <laughs> Wait, what? No. Yeah. Last month, I've been gone for like a while. Yeah. Well, that's usually the reason I leave. Well, you know, I just get over it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, I I go out and I try to meet cooler, newer, you know, cool new friends. Uh, and then it just doesn't work out, and so... Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. That that the household has has been uh, uh, changing every now and then for uh, various uh, personal reasons. Yeah, be sure to f follow my personal vlog channel where I talk about my daily life and all the details and my address. So you. <laughs> yeah. Watch it on YouTube, but don't tell anyone about it.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes. Vapula crystal level one. I think. Slot type axe. Okay. I think I can make something with this. Uh, I need a uh, something that can hold an axe. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Good luck with the uh, going through the garbage bins. <laughs> yeah, and handsome. Bye. Okay. What? Oh, yeah, no, to get sticks, you have to use an axe on uh, a plank block, and that's how you get, that, that's how you get sticks. Uh, yes, if I uh, break it with an axe, left click. If I right click it, I get sticks. Okay, so this is, I got a, a, a crystal from uh, one of those enemies that spawn uh, when you are mining stuff. And you can use it to build um, a, a special pickaxe. Now I only have one of the crystals. If I had two, I could make it twice as uh, powerful. But it should still be kind of cool. So let's go just uh, somewhere here is good. And then we break this block and then it digs like this. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait for it. See that? Seps? <laughs> Are you impressed? <laughs> A little neurocommunism. My account was hacked. When Ashlyn is here, you always have to say hi to Ashlyn. Our ego is very fra fragile. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I get it. You have a lot of siblings. <laughs> hmm. And you still didn't get enough attention. <laughs> wow. That's that really is sad. Did you do a lot of drugs in high school and listen to uh, metal music? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, MCR, I don't know. Whichever band your parents disapproved of. Yeah. <laughs> they got up on a debate stage. Uh, it was just a competition to see who could yell the loudest. Um... <laughs> uh... Like, how are you, Ashlyn? It has been a damn while and very long, hot minute. As your scapegoat, share this to Ashlyn. Six. Six. Neurocommunism is telling you six. I don't know if that if that's code for anything. You and you two. Hello. How are you? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that's why you're the most experienced. <laughs> That's all right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's the Swedish experience. Like, uh, you know, you can be like on your deathbed and still feel bad about missing like some. Oh, I promised John we were gonna watch football together. <laughs> it's like no. Oh. Yeah. 
Like, I don't, I don't know, I just, I promised, you know, I have responsibility. I can't use, I'm so selfish of me to be lying here in the hospital. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, what well, what's his first name again? Elia. Elia. Uh, he's a member of the communist youth. No, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. They taught him how to read in primary school. I was like, um, oh, it was, um, <clears throat> I think back uh, during the, the Democrat primary. Learn to read throughout Latin America, and that was that was a good thing. And he just caught so much like heat from it, from like CNN and stuff. And uh, yeah, and what's that guy's name? Uh, the 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 reporters got white hair and glasses. Yeah, Anderson Cooper. He he sat him. They sat down in like an interview, and he was like. Well, those literacy programs, they were all propaganda, weren't they? Like, teaching children how to read is propaganda. <laughs> it's like... Well, yeah. K is for Carl, M is for Marx. That's all you need to know. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. You know, whenever you see someone trying to help the poor, that may mean they're a communist. It's uh, one of the red flags. Red flag is also a big red flag. Yeah. Yeah, no financial compensation. That is communism. My favorite weapon in RL Craft is the summoning rod because you get to just summon a bunch of mobs that you've encountered before and have them help you, and you can run away in fear and hide. This one is stuck, but yes, the other ones do. Let's see. Is the, co is the coast clear? Nope, it's not. <laughs> Can you go get those guys, please? 
There you go. Go get him. You too. Come on. God damn it. Go get him. Get him. Come on. I think they all jumped into the lava. Okay. They might not be very intelligent. At least they walk toward the enemy, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's see if we have someone else we can summon. <laughs> uh, the Jengu. Come on, Jengu. Get him. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Yeah. There's no way he's going to do it. There's no way. Hang on. I'll put some water here. Come on, Jengu. Come on, Jengu. Come on, Jengu. You can do it. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm, it's hot. It's very hot. I need... It's. I need water. <laughs> Yeah. Mhm. Mm well, yeah. Yeah, when until it's done. And, you know, maybe she needs to buy herself a Coca-Cola when she gets thirsty, so. Gotta. <laughs> what's that, what's that, um. Yeah. Okay, I don't... Uh, okay. Come on, Jangu. Two Jangus, come on. Please. This big fucking magma monster. Blurp. It just said blurp. Come on, Jangu. Come on, Jango, you can do it. Do you, can you see that fucking thing? Do you think I can fight that? I don't have a. I don't. I don't have any string. I can't make a bow right now. Besides, that thing is fucking a monstrosity. Like a bow is just gonna tickle its armpits. You know, not gonna do anything. I don't have any arrows either. So. It's a moot point. Uh, dark, a darkling. Maybe that one's okay. It's even an azure color. Come on. Yeah. Get him. It came to Sweden a few years ago. But it's all in the cans and small bottles, so don't get the big bottles. But there's only some stores that have it. It's, eh, I don't like it. It's not that good. Hmm. Well, some Americans call it pop. I think it's like East Coast calls it soda. I think the... Yeah. It's like uh Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs>
I love saying soda pop. Such a, I mean, it's a fun word. <laughs> hmm. Sparkling water. <laughs> wow, you lied. What? Telling me this now? Why is this the first time I'm hearing this? Well, who who decides what's a woman anyway? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think a lot of people feel that way. Cuz uh, you know, gender is can be like a hard thing to wrap your head around, you know. And it's it's hard to like be able to put words to to exactly how you feel and and uh, you know, find like a label that feels comfortable for you. you know, not not always an easy thing. I think probably. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I I've um taken kind of a uh, I don't know, laissez-faire approach toward uh, policing. Ah! Eh. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it. Fucking Banshee, I'm trying to talk about gender. Ah! Ah, oh, fucking get the best of Anyway, that was that one was a specter, not even a banshee. It's a it's a, a banshee and a specter, which I'm not. I never really thought about there being a difference between those things. God damn, the banshees are the worst because they're always in the walls. Ah, oh, and screaming. Yeah, you see them too, right? It's not just me, not just in my head. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, I'm not talking about uh, Minecraft and seeing banshees everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's that's controversial. That's uh you know, that's up that's <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> North America and South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there isn't really a technically because there isn't a like a cohesive Yeah. It's it's all Yeah, and Africa. So, you know, if, if you know, if, if uh Yeah. Mm. They aren't connected. Well, the Panama Canal is man-made, and there is a bridge going across. And, you know, if the can Panama Canal isn't that deep, so they are, you know, pretty damn connected. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the the rainforest in uh, northern Colombia, I think. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the alternative? Some kind of boat contraption? I, I mean, I have to drive my Hummer to go on vacation, you know? Yeah, my Hummer. My SUV. My, uh, my gas guzzling truck. No, a Hummer. H-U-M-M-E-R. It's a, it's a car. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for patriots. <laughs> yeah, by that logic, so are like conservative Americans. <laughs> you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's not growing though. I don't get why it's not growing. No. No, it's uh the 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 soil is wet. You can see um 
Okay, that was... <laughs> when I said laissez-faire. Is there something we have to do in, uh, in Oralcraft to make shit grow? I don't know. Oh yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Um, gold and redstone or something, I think. Oh, 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 right. I think I can look up the recipe here. Right, yeah, quartz, okay. Right. Yeah, I knew there was winter, but I guess... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That would make sense. What makes a continent? Because Europe, Asia, Africa are all connected. There are three different continents: Russia, Southern Europe, or Asia, depending who you ask. Uh, there, there is nothing. That makes a continent. A continent is whatever you want it to be. It's it's just a like a constructed term. Um, like hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, um There are, there are like a couple, like, uh, there are like three or four main, like, uh, uh, like the most common, uh, like, view on, on continents. Uh, you know, some putting the, uh, America into one continent, some putting Europe and Asia into Eurasia, and then, um, Uh, you can also do Afro Eurasia and uh, shit, what's the other ones? I mean, the whole like o Oceania thing you can divide up in a bunch of different ways. Like you can have you know, um, <clears throat> Oceania as a continent, including Australia and New Zealand, or you can have Polynesia, and yeah, yeah, you know, like there, there's a bunch of different ways to like split up countries into continents. But I mean, uh, all it is is just like, yeah, the Australian continent. They have one continent called Earth. Well, I mean, we do. It's called Planet Earth. I mean, like, yeah. But like, you know, if we only had one continent called Earth, then it, it, like, what's the point? You know, like, what's what's the use in having the word continent? Indigenous names for the American continents. Uh, yeah, Turtle Island. 
Late spring. Okay. Why is Australia a continent but not those islands just above it? I don't know. It's it's there's not a reason behind any of this. It's all just cultural. It's just like some people decided that's the way it is and that's the way it is. You know? Not everyone considers Australia a continent. I was taught that it was Oceania. itself uh, yeah Indonesia. Yeah. I mean like you could or yeah like you could say Indonesia is part of uh Indochina, right? Which is its own thing which includes, you know, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and it goes down and includes, you know, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. Um And yeah, like you can divide it by tectonic plates instead if you're a geologist. But that doesn't make any sense, like, culturally or politically or anything, because then it's like, you know, uh, like, half of Japan is in, like, the same continent as North America and shit. Like, it, it just kind of gets confusing. Like the, I think, like, the northern half of Japan shares the same tectonic plates as the, the northern, uh, I think, like, yeah, most of North America, I think. I can't remember. Okay. The compass can actually show us the coordinates because uh, you don't see the coordinates by pressing F3. So that's useful. Alright, I'm gonna go. Uh, I have to do uh, just a five minute uh, uh, important GOAT meeting. So I'll be back in a minute.
Interesting. I am dropping some frames. Uh, I wonder what happened there. Something using my, my internet? What's going on? Yeah, the CIA is trying to shut us down. I don't know. It looks green right now. Pigment of... Yeah. The social construct that needs to be abolished. Right, but you don't own an emerald mine in South Africa, so I feel like there's a bit of a difference. <laughs> Still no audio? Yeah, there's audio. I can see it moving. The sound. Yeah. Did you uh, did you listen to the the stream or? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well then, it's it's uh, not my fault then, Roll. Stop trying to blame me. Not everything. Sometimes, uh, it's your own fault. Okay. Not everything is other people's fault. Okay. You have to learn that. I was wrong about Japan's location on the tectonic plates, so... Wait, so what are the... the what does the tectonic plates look like in Japan? Tectonic plates... Um... North American plate. Yeah. No, it's right. Look. North American plate includes half the northern half of Japan. I just looked it up. What the hell are you talking about? Bro. Yeah. Uh Window capture. Look here. Tectonic plates. Whoa. North American plate. And here's Japan. And the northern half of Japan is in the North American tectonic plate. See? I know geography. Or geology. This is geology, not geography. See? I was right. Don't ever doubt me again.
Mm. Maybe. Did you get a lot of art clicks? Then yeah, probably. Hmm. Yeah, we don't get earthquakes here. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know. How would I know? system I don't know what that is Ow Hmm Mhm mm Hmm. Audio choppy? I don't know. Uh, I guess the stream isn't doing too good. Uh, yeah, I've been having troubles with my internet since we moved in. So, maybe I have to look into that. Uh, do, 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 do. What? I'm, I'm building it. I'm expanding it. It's incomprehensible. Oh, yeah, I can see the frames dropping now. Uh, hang on. I think my OBS is being, I think there's something wrong with my OBS. It just doesn't. a second even though I've only set the the better to be 4500 like it just keeps like jumping up and down uh maybe yeah I think we've been spreading too much truth about how continents aren't real yeah <laughs> uh. 
tomorrow, I think. Well, I guess this is uh good as time as any to to say thank you everyone for joining us today. Um if anyone out there can still hear us <laughs> uh <laughs> oh no, oh we're at Guarantee. Yeah, we streamed at the same time. Hmm. Ah. Oh. oh, you can convert your channel points into uh, even better channel points. <laughs> 